All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekar Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. These are the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect. This is going to be a uh, in transit, you know, uh, riding, draw, driving home from from the uh, from the job, and uh, well, I seen a brother put up a video. He posted a uh, brother in particular uh, posted up a video, which video is always going up over here at Great Millstone. So, uh, but this brother in particular, you know, he put up a video. Um, saying America, uh, something to the effect that uh, America destruction is at hand, um, and also another brother in the, in this camp sent a video out to me about, and I'm gonna put this clip in in the in the, in the description box about the um, I forget the exact title because I'm driving and I'm seeing all this stuff while I'm driving, so I'm just. Um, saying it to the best of my the, that my memory will allow me to you know so the the title is something to the effect of uh, some RT news and America is uh, drowning in debt something to that effect but I'll have to I'll put the video in in the description box okay so that's basically what I'm gonna talk about you know on this uh, commute to my to my uh my apartment uh america is broke you know america uh babylon the great america is known as babylon the great in the bible as you know the the men that teach this word you know in truth and sincerity we know and uh that's one major sign that um, the so-called white man uh, he pioneers his rulership uh, out of America and once America is destroyed that's the end of the so called white man's uh, power structure that's the end of his empire or his, his kingdom and one major indicator that this man's uh, empire his kingdom is, is uh, going down is that America is broke and is running off of it's running off a of debt, borrow, borrow money, okay? If you look at the uh, the U.S. debt clock, you can Google it. I believe the national debt is pushing uh, 22 trillion. But if you live, you factor in the uh, damn, what is it called? I think it's called unfunded unfunded liability and you can find that you can find that down in the uh, left towards the left corner of the US debt clock you know I believe it says unfunded liability now when you look at that number it's about 200 trillion and you can look at it you know I'm uh, if it's not 200 it's close to two uh, 200 trillion Okay, and I believe that's when you factor in uh, social, <clears throat> social, social security uh, payments, social security payments that go out, and you factor that in, and there's some other things that they factor in too, but you, you can go on the uh, U.S. debt clock, uh, you can Google it and look at it, you know? So really, this place is, is about $200 trillion in debt. And uh, what is the book of, what is that? It's the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 10, the, the book of Sirach chapter 10, starting at the first verse. I believe it says the manner of the, however the king is, I'm roughly paraphrasing it. That's how the people are going to be. Okay. So I'm using that scripture to, uh, for this example, that the ruling you know, the, the rulers of this kingdom, well, they really not in debt, you know. They controlling all this and they manufacturing it. 
but this country is in debt, you know? And so this country is in, this so-called country is in debt, which is really a corporation. It's uh, in debt, it's going out of business. So the people that are up under this corporation, okay, that are under this government, they're gonna be in debt. Now it's a, that video that, uh, that I'm gonna put in, in the description box, and it says something to the effect that um, America is drowning in, in debt. You know, it may be titled different, but my, if uh, it's something to that effect, and it's going into not not the uh, the government debt or the, the country's debt as a total, the national debt is going into the the American people uh, debt. How the American people are living paycheck to paycheck. How uh, the credit card debt is through the roof, and um, how people just don't have savings. And they go into other information, so you can watch the video. It's a good one, a uh, good news clip to watch. Um, and that's true. A good example that that showed that the average American, and really, yeah, I'll say the average American is in debt and is living paycheck to paycheck is this that recent government shutdown that happened you know you had these were government workers so probably a low salary for one some of these government workers was maybe oh you know i don't know for sure but i'll just throw a ballpark number out there say maybe 40 to fifty thousand probably all the way up to over definitely over a hundred thousand for some of them you know and uh if, as we seen all through the news those people could not afford to not get a, a a paycheck okay and most of the most of those people did not have savings to get them through a month or two months um without without income coming in you know and so when you read the scriptures like Ecclesiastes 12, starting at with the, the fourth verse, where it talks about, you know, the grinding uh, shall cease. And it also talks about, uh, if you read on down, it says the, the door shall be shut. And that's talking about there's going to be a lack of jobs. And um, businesses are going to be going out of businesses. I mean, businesses are going to be going, yeah, out of business, okay? And this is all signs of a, a country that's in major debt, okay? And I also think about the scripture, and uh, Habakkuk, can't forget about that, where it talk, it's referring to America, and it says that this place is... Uh, is is laden with uh with thick clay. When you look up that word thick clay, it, it goes into uh, the Hebrew word I bought yet, which means heavy debt. Okay, so everybody's in debt from from the government on down, you know, and. Uh, that's a major sign, an indicator that America is finished, okay? And there's no way to bounce back. There's no way for this country to bounce back from its uh, debt, this debt situation, okay? Now, I'm not an uh, economic expert or economy expert, but I do understand some basic principles about how this economy runs and... Uh, some basic concepts to the Federal Reserve System, how it works, and uh, how the banking system works, and how the monetary, you know, the monetary system works in this in this country. Just you know, like on a, on a broad aspect of it. And when you go into just this is just common sense right here, which most people don't have common sense. America is spending way more money than it's making. And 
how much money America makes is called, and not just America, but in all the countries across the world, it's called a GDP, uh, gross domestic uh, product. And that's basically the, for lack of better words, the profit that a country made based upon selling its, uh, exporting its goods, their, their raw materials and whatnot, okay? And America is spending way more money than the, than it's making through the through the GDP. And same thing for the because like like I mentioned earlier, the scripture Sirach uh, ten, starting at the first verse, where it says, however the manner of the king is, that's gonna be the state of the uh, of the people you can go and read the scripture I'm just roughly uh, uh, paraphrasing it but I know it's worded a little different so um, that's the state of the average person out here um, and they give numbers and statistics on that video so it would definitely be you know a good uh, watch a news watch you know the statistics on uh, the different numbers on uh, just the di uh, 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 the numbers on how people are in debt, you know, and you can look into it. But the average person spends; they have their the, their their expenses outweigh how much they make. Okay, so what they spend, they output is way more than what they bringing in so common sense is going to tell you that you're going to be in debt in that in that's in that's in that scenario okay if you're spending more than you're making that means you're in the negative all right and that's what's going on here in this country and it's only a matter of time before this dollar crash and uh you know, this is all being done purposely to, so that that chip can, that uh, RFID microchip can be instituted and, and mandated into this, uh, uh, well, across the world, okay? And uh, which is the, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, and that's what all this is going to uh, lead up to. This, uh, this economic crisis of everybody being in debt, the country is in debt. Okay, um, it's going to lead to them changing over the money system to the chip. Okay, so that that's pretty much it. You know, I, we we like to hear these things. You know, we love to look into the news and uh, see these informative uh, news clips and articles about the terrible state. Of America, okay. Whether it's dealing with the infrastructure, whether it's dealing with the, the economic crisis, or whatever, you know, because according to the Bible prophecy, America is going to be destroyed. But before this place is physically destroyed through the Third World's War, which the Bible calls the War of Armageddon, okay. Um, this place is gonna is gonna uh, fall economically. It's uh, it's it's can there's no moral this there's no morality or no morals here in this uh, in this God forsaken country, okay? Most high forsaken uh, country, okay? The uh, infrastructure is broken down and pretty much depleted. And they patching it up, you know, but it's failing, you know. And uh, the world is, all the world is against this place. And they sick of America and this bullshit trying to, you know, bully them and take their resources and and, and, uh, and, and fuck them over and got them tied up to the, uh, the world banks and the uh, IMF, you know in debt to them so a war is going to break out and we're seeing it brewing as as you know as as of this day you know 
2019. Uh, April the 23rd. You know? So that, that's pretty much it. Um, hope this uh, in transit was exhorting to the spirit, you know, and uh, edifying. I once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings onto the hopeful elect. Inshallah, one.